Well, after an incredible night's rest, it's ready to time to resume my journey, hopefully to Portland. out here in a rural area which uh, of course describes almost everywhere in Montana but it makes it nice because you can get up stretch your legs don't worry about anybody seeing you I got my stuff covered that needs covering This grating that with all the holes in it that everybody refers to as a cheese grater it's a you know decking material that they use very common on these container cars but these holes you know it's almost like they punch these holes and don't deburr anything so the edges are very sharp and so what's happened to me twice now is I apparently have set my water down a little too hard and these things, the sharp ones, have punched holes in the bottom of my jug and then before I noticed it I lost a bunch of water and so yesterday I had to get off in Glasgow which I planned to anyway but I was out of water and you know you just can't can't travel long distances without without water, especially on a hot and sunny day. Something's still moving okay.
hail. Yeah, what's our doozy, man? They said 70 mile an hour winds, and by God, they were right, man. My laces were whipping my face, and it was crazy. I had to stop the train. I mean, wow. That doesn't happen very often. So here I am on a siding and I took a picture in the morning just after we'd pulled off on this siding and I can see the mountains of Glacier National Park and my timing is looks like it's going to be fantastic for good video and not only that I'm, I'm uh, making good time and can probably uh, make it to Portland or Seattle, either one in time to get down to Portland because I made a reservation. I've got a fantastic deal on a sleeper back to Wisconsin from Portland. So I got a fantastic deal on it. So I went ahead and booked it for late Saturday and it's uh, Friday and uh, it looks to me like, you know, I'm in pretty good shape until until we sat on this siding for 14 hours. <laughs> oh my God, man. I didn't get into Glacier until the sun was well setting and didn't get the, the you know, what I wanted. Worse than that, just before we got to Whitefish, Amtrak blew past me and that was my only hope was to go ahead and just right Amtrak on into Portland and uh, and come back on my sleeper I had reserved but because the train passed us right before Whitefish when I could have got off and gotten on Amtrak I had no way to make it to Portland in time to catch my train back I could probably go to Spokane or somewhere and get off there and get on but I just decided uh, you know I know the yard in Whitefish it's easy on easy off so I just decided I'd get off in whitefish and kill a day and just wait for my wait for my train and uh, that's what I did damn it I didn't make it to <laughs> didn't make it to Portland and didn't get and didn't get the footage I wanted but I did meet people on my train this motley crew of folks I walked up the train I'd heard someone talking so I walked up the trainways and ran into these folks they saw me come and thought I was a worker and uh, once I got close enough they could see that I wasn't uh, they came out of the woodwork like termites and uh, it was a blast it was a blast meeting them and learning from them I got a lot of great information and, and help from from this crew uh, Benji and Johnny and Piff. I mean, it was it was really uh, really great.